In this short film we're going to be looking at how we take the image on the left hand side into more of an editorial magazine kind of styling. Uh, so uh, we're going to just kind of follow through the quick kind of principles of how we would look at it and how we would change it. Uh, both of them in fact are raw so they're not processed images. So um, the first thing we're going to do is just go into our raw and basically pick up our uh, images and let's uh, just go to control R to open these up in Adobe Camera Raw and you can see that basically the difference um, is that this image has just had a little bit of enhancement before of being opened up in the likes of Photoshop so specifically things like the darkening of the hair the darkening of the jacket is bad um, we need something with a little bit more detail in it especially if it was going into the likes of a magazine so it would repro well um, as well as the uh, likes of the eyes and the face just overall we don't need to worry about the color shift actually on the background here we don't need to do that at all but the ma the main thing is actually working on these things so first things first would be to add in our normal kind of changes to it so I usually add in a contrast of 8 a minus 8 in the black this is the overall effect I would go in and add a medium contrast to the image anyway so you can see once more just by doing those few things we've kind of uh, made a difference to the image and it's dark it's darker already because of contrast um, initially we're just going to open up a little bit more of the shadow shadow area um, just o overall you can see it's really not doing much it's just actually adding more to the background than anything the highlights we don't really want to touch because of already on the cheek here and actually on the forehead um, so we need to actually start to actually paint Im information back so then we're just going to come up into the adjustment brush clicking plus to begin with on the right hand side that resets ev everything below and then with just a, a kind of a biggish brush here we'll just start to paint the jacket we'll paint the sleeves you're not seeing much yet but once I start to actually move the slider you can start to see the adjustment now this is for editorial of course we need to show the detail on the jacket and so on I'm going to bring a little bit more information down by here so I'm going to click on new I'm going to paint it again but I'm going to open up the shadow area rather than just the exposure okay so it's more the shadow area and I'm going to increase the highlights as well that will actually just lighten things up as we go same way just lighten the uh, sleeves uh, pretty much good just brighten those shoulders just a little bit and then what we're going to do is we're going to work on the eyes next so just click in again onto the adjustment brush uh, shrinking down the uh, brush very very small now so I can just work on the eyes first things first click on plus to reset everything below once more just wipe across the eyes just to bring a little bit of in information I'm gonna click new and now I'm just gonna actually work on the eyes so when I get so small with the brush uh, it, it loses the actual round roundness and just goes to the crosshair let me just increase the bright brightness here of the eyes as you can see let's go back in there and just paint a little bit more color in let's bring the shadow information up as well a little less in the blacks might be a little bit too much there in fact let's dial that back down again okay that's pretty cool um, I want to bring down this area of the highlights so clicking onto a new brush again remember minus or plus will reset everything below in this case I'm looking to actually dial the highlights down as well as some of the whites down right bracket to actually increase the size of the brush here so not too much at this stage remember you're looking at with the exposure change there in fact all I was looking to do is actually dial those high the highlights down just to start to blend across it's going to be in black and white anyway so uh, no big deal as far as that patch in click in new again small brush now let's just do the nose just wipe up here once more just take the higher highlights down it's actually just the whites in fact isn't it I think just dial those whites down a touch more yep pretty good and now let's just do an overall face so again once more big big brush now going to wipe across the whole face here clicking on the plus again resets everything below 
brightens everything together. So that's kind of the blend, uh, the blending of everything. So we'll still keep those highlights dimmed and the whites. And then we're going to work on the actual hair here. The hair needs the most work, in fact. Should have used the hair light, but it's technically only uh, one light actually coming onto him. Some sides, some side lights coming in, uh, but no actually real hair hair light. So let's f first of all click on the plus, and we'll just overall just paint in the middle. That lifts the overall detail. Clicking on new again, shrink the brush down, and start to actually paint within the actual uh, head itself. So I just need to shrink the brush down again, making sure I'm staying within the actual hairline. Don't want to spill onto the background. Let's give a little bit more information to this quiff in a minute. But we've got the the kind of the overall detail going on here, which which is good. Let's click new again and let's paint on once more. So this is going to look very, very white a minute, but I'm literally just paint and click in now to give almost like a, a natural element. I'm going to increase the texture of the hair just a little bit. Dial the exposure just down a fraction, but increase the shadow area a little bit more. Let's just double click out and have a little look. It's much better. So if we just look at the uh, before and after there, you can see the difference what we've done already here. So it's pretty good. So in this case, obviously, we'd use the save this image as the uh, raw file, uh, sorry, as a JPEG file, and then obviously kind of open it up again in Photoshop. As is, I'm going to open this one up straight away into Photoshop. And that's going to just load it in and things. So, so just so we don't get confused, I'm going to close this original photograph here down on the left hand side. So we'll just get rid of that. And uh, in the view now, we're just going to be up in consolidate all tabs. Right, hit in my uh, tab key. That actually brings everything back live again. So we did the hair, the face, the eyes and the jacket in the raw. Now we need to actually look at creating a little bit more of a pop, a little bit more kind of standout editorial advert kind of image. So first things we're going to do, let's um, make a selection of him. So the quick way for me to do that is just go up into the object selection tool. But instead of actually changing any of these, I'm just going to go straight up onto the select subject and now that is going to make an intelligent guesswork around the subject itself um, to kind of uh, allow me to do a quick cutout. There's some little bits here that I want to add in as well. So I'm just going to press the Alt key and just going to hand draw around there to take that out of the selection. Same thing across here as well. Alt key is minus, plus key is plus, of course. We've technically selected the subject so the background is what we were taking out of the mix and things really so with that in mind now all I need to do is control J and that will duplicate that image straight straight away so theoretically if all I wanted to do at this stage was to create uh, I don't know a, uh, a gray background let's just go and click on to the uh, color of the gray suit press OK and now if I just um, uh, control backspace, I, I've technically just done done my job. And if he was going to be in black and white, then, of course, we'd lose all this color in that's going on anyway. So um, but but that's not what we're doing. We want to actually use the color and the hue that is behind things really. So I'm just going to get rid of that background for now and uh, switch our other layer back back on again so the reason i've cut him out is to the background layer i want to actually uh, change the color of the background so i'm just going to go to hue and saturation and at this this point if i just uh, change the hue here you can see how it's naturally going to change as i move the slider from right to left and so on so we'll stick in towards the uh, let's, let's go blue is it for change yeah, so pretty cool. So there we've done our hue and saturation, and we've obviously got our subject layer. 
Next thing, we want to turn the, sub the subject himself into black and white. So I'm just going to go into the adjustment brush, uh, sorry, the adjustment layer again, and I'm just going to grab a black and white option here. And at this stage, if I just kind of drag the properties box across here, you can see I've got different options in the different sliders to uh, kind of work through to have different effects. Um, and it really just does depend on what you kind of really need to actually knock out of the park and things really. So uh, with that done, um, I want to just associate the black and white to the actual cutout image. So in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and press the Alt key and just between the two layers, click on there. And now it's just affecting the actual uh, color change. In other words, the black and white is just of the cutout of the image itself. So um, if I switch this one off, it really doesn't do anything. OK, uh, it's all being applied through below. Right, then the, the last part, as far as the uh, colouring is concerned, is just our text to make it into the editorial image. So let's go ahead now and uh, select the text tool. We'll just drag a box to fill the whole bottom kind of third. And then I'm just going to go to into. And let's give that a colour. So if we look the opposite of blue uh, is going to be kind of yellow. Let's add that in. And then straight away, we've basically got our kind of editorial image with some text. Uh, you might want to actually put the into behind him as well, perhaps. So let's just duplicate it. Let's, uh, with the move tool selected, as you can see here, if I just press the Alt key, it, it basically duplicates it as I drag, drag it. Now, if I actually just pop it behind him, I can actually start to bring the into lo a logo in just behind as well. So let's just uh, make this a bit bigger. We'll just increase its size just by using this scrubby tool. And then straight away, we've, we've got ourselves a kind of uh, quite intense, um, real kind of editorial style of finish and things, really. And so we've just taken it all the way through. What did we do? Well, basically, we were in the raw. We adjusted the jacket, the eyes, the face, and the hair. Then when we brought it into Photoshop itself, the first thing that we did is from the background layer, we cut the, sub, uh, the subject out, or at least that allowed Photoshop to do it. Then um, on or above the actual background image, we created that hue and saturation layer. So remember, that is still there, the original color. So I can go in here at any stage and change that hue and saturation to any color I want. And uh, then we basically um, put a black and white adjustment layer above the actual cutout image. And then we obviously went in and added in that bit of text. But overall, pretty cool image.